Our second to the last topic under compound interest is about values of obligations. Dated transactions yield different present values and amounts. However, points of references can be established to serve as dates of comparison. Using a common date of comparison can help us assess which financial transaction will yield higher incomes or lower interest. So this lesson is going to help us make good financial decisions because we are going to compare investments or transactions in different times using a common date of comparison. So let us take a simple example and we, we are going to compare three types of financial transactions and expand them to give us a better perspective on how to conduct strategic financial decision making. So our examples are the first one, Mr. Felta promises to pay 50,000 pesos to Banco Real two years from date. So it says here that there is no interest. So what is the present value is equal to the future value. Our second example, Mr. Felta promises to pay 50,000 pesos to Banco Real plus 10% simple interest two years from date. And our third example, plus interest at 10% compounded quarterly two years from date. So our first example has no interest. Our second example uses simple interest. And our third example uses compound interest at 10% compounded quarterly for 2 years. All these examples are for 2 years. And nagkakaiba lang sila sa interest and of course sa future amount. So sa first example natin, uh, since there is no interest, so our P or our present value is equal to the amount. So if our present value is 50,000, our future amount is equal to 50,000 also. Using a time diagram or a cash flow diagram, our present value here, since there is no interest, is uh, equal to the future value after 2 years. Our second example, using a simple interest of 10% for 2 years, so using the formula in finding for F, so our P is 50,000, our R is 0.10, and our T is 2, so F is equal to 60,000. So our P in uh, sa ating cash flow diagram will be 60,000 in the future after 2 years using a simple interest of 0.10. Our third example uses compound interest formula. So in finding for F using compound interest formula, that is P times 1 plus I raised to N, and then P is 50,000, our I is 0.10 divided by 4 since it is quarterly. Then raise to 2 times 4. Our T is 2 years, our M is 4. And so, 1 plus 0.10 divided 4 is 1.025 and then 2 times 4 is equal to 8. And then the answer for this, 60,920 pesos and 14 centavos. So, on our cash flow, the present value is 50,000 and then for 2 years using compound interest that will be equal to 60,920 pesos and 14 centavos our future amount. And then suppose we add another dimension to the 3 examples presented. mag add tayo ng dimension. So common dimension yan sa lahat 6 months before the maturity date. Banco Real sold the note to Monte de Diaz at 12% compounded semi-annually. So first, using the compound interest formula in finding for P, yung hahanapin natin na P is 6 months before the maturity date, which is 2 years. Hahanapin natin or isosolve natin yung value ng P kung magkano niya ibebenta yung note kay Monte de Diaz using 12% compounded semi-annually. Using the compound present value formula, that is F is equal to, uh, that is P is equal to F times 1 plus I raised to negative N. And so our F, yung F natin kanina is 50,000 sa example number 1, times 1 plus 0.12 divide 2 
raised to negative 0.5. 0.5 na lang siya kasi 6 months lang naman. Times 2. So, the answer will be, our present value will be 46,169 pesos and 81 centavos. For our second example, using again the compound present value formula in finding for P, that is F times 1 plus I raised to negative N. So, our F, yung simple interest formula natin kanina, our F is 60,000 times 1 plus 0.12 divided by 2 raised to negative 1 because 0.5 times 2 is negative 1. And that will be equal to 56,603 pesos and 77 centavos. Our present value, kung gagamitin natin yung simple interest na future amount kanina. That is our P, 6 months before the maturity date. And then for our third example, Using again compound compound present value formula. So our F, yung F natin kanina is 60,920 pesos and 14 centavos sa ating third example. Times 1 plus 0.12 divided by 2 raised to negative 1. And so our present value is 57,471 pesos and 83 centavos. That is our P6 months before the maturity date. So here, in these examples, we note the following. The computed amounts after 2 years varied depending on the type of interest formula that was applied. So in the second set of examples, these different amounts were discounted to determine their respective proceeds. The resulting computed proceeds are different from one another. So sa mga na-compute natin kanina na proceeds or yung present value, Using different interest formula, magkakaiba talaga yung value. And lastly, these examples illustrated that financial obligations are dependent largely on the agreed dates. And oftentimes, when investments are presented to us, it is wise to make comparisons and take all interest variables into consideration. Another example number one. If money is worth 10% compounded semi-annually, which of the given obligation is the most valuable? So here we are going to compare the three investments and we are going to compare their future value using a common comparison date. So for letter A, 10,000 Jew at the end of one year without interest, B, 15,000 Jew at the end of three years at 8% simple interest, or C, 15,000 Jew at the end of two years at 7% compounded quarterly. And so solving for the future value at the end of one year for letter A, that is 10,000 because it has no interest. For letter B, our future value after three years using the simple interest formula that is 15,000 times 1 plus 0 0.08 times 3 that is equal to 18,600. And for the future value after 2 years, using the compound interest formula that is 15,000 times 1 plus 0 0.07 divided by 4, raised to 2 times 4. And that is equal to 17,233 pesos and 23 centavos. So, nasolve natin yung future values niya, but it is not yet the comparison. We have not yet used a common comparison date. So, noting the three values, in order to compare which among the three investments is the most valuable, we choose a focal date as a reference point for objective comparison and let us choose four years. So, using, so using a time diagram or a cash flow diagram, for our first year, our F1 is 10,000 after one year. Our F2 is 17,233.23 for two years. That is for letter C. And for letter B, our F after three years is equal to 18,600. And then we are going to use the fourth year as our focal date. At dito natin i-compare yung mga future values nila. And then solving for 
future value A after 4 years, yung future value 1 natin, gagawin natin siyang present value sa ating compound interest formula. So, our F1 is 10,000 times 1 plus 0.10 divided by 2. 3 yung naging T natin dito because based on our time diagram, we are going to count the number of years from this period up to our focal date. So, that is 1, 2, 3 years. So, 3 is T here. The result of this quantity is 1.05 raised to 6. And then, our future value for A after 4 years is 13,400 pesos and 96 centavos if the money is worth 10% compounded semi-annually. For letter B, using the same formula and our F3 will be the present value sa ating compound interest formula raised to 1 times 2. 1 because there is only 1 year in between the third year and the fourth year, our focal date. So, 18,600 times 1.05 raised to 2 and that is equal to 20,506 pesos and 50 centavos. That is the worth or the future worth for letter B sa ikaapat na taon. For letter C, using the same formula, our future value, which is 17,233 pesos and 23 centavos, will be used as the present value sa ating compound interest formula times 1 plus 0.10 over 2 raised to 2 times 2. Our T is 2 because there are 2 years in between the second year and the fourth year. So this quantity will be equal to 1.05 raised to 4. And so, our answer for the future value of C is 20,947 pesos and 10 centavos. This is the future worth after 4 years, our focal date. And now, we are ready to compare the three values or the three future amounts at the end of 4 years, our focal date or our date of comparison. So, whichever is bigger... That is the most valuable. So the most valuable, the most valuable obligation is investing on letter C. That is 15,000 pesos for two years at 7% compounded quarterly if money is worth 10% compounded semi-annually. For our next example, suppose 85,000 pesos is due at the end of five years with interest at 8% compounded quarterly if money is worth 10% compounded semi-annually, what is the value of the obligation? So here, we are not going to compare values of obligations. We are just going to compute. Okay, the value of obligation now at the end of 2 years and at the end of 6 years. So first, we are going to, we are going to compute for the future amount using the values on the first statement. So para malaman natin yung future value niya. Using the compound interest formula in finding for the amount, that is 85,000 times 1 plus 0 0.08 divided by 4 raised to 5 times 4. And so this quantity will be equal to 1.02 raised to 20. And then our future amount will be 126,305 pesos and 53 centavos. And then this is our time diagram or our cash flow diagram. Now, our present value is 85,000 and after 5 years, that will be 126,305 and 53. So here we are going to compute for the present value of each. So for letter A, our present value is 126,305 pesos and 53 centavos times 1 plus 0.10 divided by 2 raised to negative 5 times 2 because from now to the fifth year that is 5 years our t and then using the common future amount value 126000 so this quantity will be equal to 1.05 raised to negative 10 and the answer will be 77540 pesos and 64 centavos our present value for letter a for letter B, using the same formula and using the same future amount and our T is 3 years. 
Because in between the second year to the fifth year, that is 3 years. So this quantity will be 1.05 raised to negative 6. And then the answer for letter B is 94,251 pesos and 13 centavos. For letter C, using the same formula and using the same future amount, our T is only 1 year. Positive na siya kasi lumampas na siya doon. Sa ating formula, in finding for P, using the compound present value formula, kung yung present value na i-co-compute natin is before, before our common date or our focal date, negative yung ating exponent. Kung after siya, yung exponent natin is positive. So this quantity will be equal to 1.05 squared. And then the answer for letter C is 139,251 pesos and 85 centavos. So that is all for the values of obligations under compound interest for your questions. Comment down.